What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in living color from the Radio What studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote. And maybe you can have me at your next event. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. What makes you smarter? And learn with me right here on the program. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, on this date in history, Jaws was released in theaters on June 20th, 1975. Jaws, a film directed by Steven Spielberg that made countless viewers afraid to go into the water, opens in theaters. The story of a great white shark that terrorizes a New England resort town became an instant blockbuster and the highest grossing film in history until it was bested by 1977's Star Wars. Jaws was nominated for an Academy Award in the Best Picture category and took home three Oscars for Best Film Editing best original score, and best sound. The film, a breakthrough for director Spielberg, then 27 years old, spawned several sequels. The film starred Roy Schneider as Principal Police Chief Martin Brody, Richard Dreyfus <laughs> as a marine biologist named Matt Hooper, and Robert Shaw. Yeah as a grizzled fisherman called Quint. It was set in the fictional beach town of Amity and based on a best-selling novel released in 1973 by Peter Benchley. Subsequent water-themed Benchley bestsellers also made it to the big screen, including The Deep 1977. With a budget of $12 million, Jaws was produced by the team of Richard Zanuck and David Brown, whose later credits include The Verdict, 1982, Cocoon, 1985, and Driving Miss Daisy, 1989. Filming, which took place on Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, was plagued by delays and technical difficulties, including malfunctioning sharks. Jaws put now-famed director Steven Spielberg on the Hollywood map. Spielberg, largely self-taught in filmmaking, made his feature-length directorial debut with The Sugarland Express in 1974. The film was critically well-received, but a box office flop. Following the success of Jaws, Spielberg went on to become one of the most influential, iconic people in the film world. With such epics as Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, 1982, Jurassic Park, 1993, Schindler's List, 1993, and Saving Private Ryan, 1998, E.T., Jaws, and Jurassic Park rank among the 10 highest grossing movies of all time. That's a little bit about Jaws on this date in history. Ah, man, that movie affected me at a young age. I was a very young boy, and I probably should not have seen that movie in theaters. But I saw that movie in theaters in 1977. I think I must have been eight years old. Oh, my goodness. That's too young. That's too young. Made me afraid to go back in the water. And here I was, a young lad in Miami, Florida, you know, very often going to the beach. And, uh, you know, my grandparents always had a place in the Florida Keys right on the water. So, so, uh, yeah, it was scary going into the water. So I, I would dip my toes, even though I enjoy the ocean. I love the ocean. It's, uh, yeah, this movie uh, make, made me 
fearful and hearkened me back to a younger age to uh to a time when i was afraid to go into the water ah <sighs> my goodness what are your views or have you seen jaws uh what do you think of jaws <laughs> <laughs> drop me some comments let me know what you're up to in this time also if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others i encourage you to check out my other podcast what makes you famous find it everywhere using the hashtag what makes you famous i gotta hit those two little beats one more time that's it for me it's keys dan radio what.com dj little rock.com peace i'm out of here if you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcast, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite, learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag, What Makes You Famous. Call 501-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys thank you for listening